Hi, I'm Jen Delaney and I'm a counselor who practices brain spotting in Boulder, Colorado. And I am very passionate about the topic of inner peace and world peace. I truly believe in microcosm, macrocosm. What is inside is reflected outside. What is outside is reflected inside. So if we want to see world peace, we have to begin with ourselves. And it goes beyond cognitive work. Cognitive work is great positive thinking, gratitude lists, that all adds up. But if we're not addressing the deep brain issues, then our ability to manifest outside and manifest inside falls short. So how do we address um, the lack of peace within our lives and in the world? Well, we begin with ourselves. We begin by doing the deep work and that means getting some sort of body-centered therapy or guidance. It's a kind of a trance state. It's not hypnosis, but um, by, by look into what EMDR is. Check out my website about brain spotting. It's a trance state <clears throat> and people can eventually do self-brain spotting as well. So it's not something you have to be in forever. But in order to really make the brain change, you do need to spend some time learning about this. And it is phenomenal because I believe that we can make a change in the world, but we've got to begin with what's happening. What we're seeing outside is some part of us. What happens is, is that if we have trauma from our childhood, and trauma can not only, it's not just abuse, although you would be surprised by the amount of professionals walking around who carry, um, having been in foster homes, having been beaten, um, it's just mind-boggling, you know, so I do deal with the mother wound, the parental wound that happens, but also it's just some of the old thinking. As we evolve into our emotional intelligence, we begin to realize that we were raised some, some thinking that was just stodgy and out of date, like let's say, um, you know, a, keeping all the breakables out for a two-year-old and expecting them not to touch it, you know, the constant no, no, even slapping of hands. Um, you know, what we've learned with child development is that they're exploring the world. You know, they're wide-eyed and, and we want to encourage that. We want to remove all those breakables and let them explore. You know, this is just a very basic old way of thinking, but there are a lot of those and people are like, well, we did the best that we, we could. That's true. But now there's so much information out there about how to raise happy individuals, how to foster emotional intelligence. And if you didn't have that, you know, if your life isn't unfolding in the way that you would like it to, there's a way to change the brain now. There are these new, new techniques that can really help people move towards inner peace, serenity, freedom, and joy. And as we do our individual work, then it will ripple out. There's no way the world can stay the way it is with the amount of war and the amount of tragedies if we are doing the inner work. So check it out. Also, there's an amazing woman. Her name is Byron Katie, and if you haven't checked out her work, it's more cognitive. However, it's powerful. Check her work out because she talks about how it's the our thinking that creates suffering. You know, and as we break that down, we can begin to see that our thoughts are really holding in a, us in a kind of a prison. Um, so check it out. Check out my website, jenniferdelaney.com, and, and have a wonderful day. Take care.